I want to show you guys a quick little way to go from a system like this to a system like this. So I have this 2D sandbox project I've created, and in the past I've done a pickup tutorial and a collectible tutorial, which is kind of similar to what I'm going to be showing here. These coins basically have a Circle Collider 2D on them, a Rigid Body 2D with the gravity scale set to zero so they don't fall down since this is just like a top-down view. And then they also have this coin script, which is basically just one event saying uncoin collected and a collect method that gets called. It destroys the game object and invokes the event. So it's very, very bare bones of what it's doing here. It's inheriting from this iCollectible interface that just says, hey, you need to make a collect method. You don't really need to do this if you don't want to. And then on my player game object, right? I have a whole bunch of stuff, but the key things are right now I have a circle collider 2D. And the only other relevant thing attached to my player for this tutorial is what's called a collector, where we're basically saying on trigger enter 2D, we see if the thing we're colliding with has an I collectible, which in this case, you know, our coin would. And then we just tell that collectible to collect itself. So when the player collides with the coin, we just tell it to destroy itself and invoke your on coin collected method. Very simple stuff. And if you're completely lost looking at this, go watch my collectible tutorial, it's not that long. Anyway, so at this point, we don't wanna have to manually run into all of our coins, right? We obviously want to pull them towards the player. And so conceptually, I want you to imagine that the collider on our player that's actually doing this, you know, immediate collecting right here needs to stay the same. And then what we wanna do is have a bigger circle outside of our player that when it collides with a coin just says, hey, you need to travel towards the player now like start the magnet effect. So that's our problem. So in our editor, I'm gonna right click on my player and go to create empty. I'll call this something like magnet collider and we'll add a circle collider 2D. And on the circle collider 2D, let's set is triggered to true because we don't want this to act like a physical wall. We just want it to be something that triggers the coins to say, hey, you should move towards the player. I'll make sure the X and Y offsets are zero and then I'll just make this bigger and set the radius to something like three. You could also use the edit collider button, but I think that looks pretty good. That's a pretty big circle. And again, this is something that could also be configurable. Like let's say you have upgrades that make the radius bigger. So that's it for our collider. Let's go to the assets and right click and create a new script. And I'm gonna call this magnet and we'll make sure to attach it to the magnet collider child. And let's open it up. So this is gonna be a very simple script. So what I wanna say in here is void on trigger stay 2D. And in here, what we wanna do is see if we're colliding with a coin and tell it to move. And you can make this generic so that it works with you know all collectibles. But for the time being, let's keep it pretty simple. What we want to say is if collision.gameobject.trygetcomponent of type coin. And so this is going to see if there's a coin on the thing we collided with. And if it is, we can actually extract that component out of it and say out coin coin. Right, so if we're colliding with a coin, we'll tell it to do something. Otherwise, it's not a coin and we don't care. So let's actually go and update our coin because right now we're simply just telling it to collect itself when it collides with the player. But what we want to do is basically be able to also tell it to head towards the player, right? So let's build out some functionality in here. And the first thing I want to do is set up a rigid body 2D, which I showed you in the beginning of the video our coins already have. So let's make a rigid body 2D variable. I'll call it RB. And then in our awake function, which gets called during loading, we'll say RB equals get component of type rigid body 2D, just so we'll get this reference during load and it's a efficient way of doing it. And then I want to create two more private variables, one to store the position of the player when it gets passed in, and one just a bool to say, hey, we have a target, we should be following it. Bool has target three, we'll call this target position. I'm just gonna collapse this collect method to get it out of the way. And so because we're gonna use a rigid body, we're dealing with physics-based movement here, we wanna use fixed update. So I'll say private void fixed update. And then we only wanna move if we have a target. So we can say if, as target, then what we want to do is find out the direction we need to move in. To do that, we could say vector two target direction is equal to the target position minus our transform dot position. Right, so we're just subtracting the target from our position, and then we want to say dot normalized at the end, and this just clamps it at one. So it just gives us the direction. And now that we have the direction of where we want to go, we can tell our rigid body dot velocity. 
And I'm going to set this to a new vector2 of target direction.x and target direction.y. And then I'll just multiply this by like 5f or something. You could definitely store some sort of move speed variable. I mean, screw it. We could just do it right here. It's fine. And this could be some value that's also passed in based on some upgrade you have or your equipment or I don't know. It doesn't matter too much. Okay, so as long as we have a target, we're just going to get the direction and then we're going to move towards that direction. That's what these two lines are doing here. And then finally, we need one more method, which is going to be public. And so we'll call it public void set target. And it will take a vector three dot position. And what we want to do is basically set our target position variable and then also set our bool to true. So we'll say target position is equal to position and then has target equals true. And so that's it for our coin script. Going back to our magnet script, we want to tell our coin to do something. Well, we want to tell our coin to set target to our transform dot parent, which is the player dot position. You just want to pass in your player position or whatever is going to be doing the collecting here. And then we're done here as well. Okay, so at this point, we should be ready to collect things, right? We have our player object here as the root. And then we have a collider child under it that's going to act as a magnet. But spoiler alert, we're going to have an issue. Let me show you what that is. So when I play the game at this point, we should expect the coins to get pulled towards the player. But what's going to really happen is we're actually just going to collect all the coins in a much bigger radius. Why is this happening? Why is our magnet collider acting like our player collider? Like we can see right here, the green lines, we have one in our player, which should be collecting. And then this big one should be the magnet. And this is like a quirk of how Unity Colliders are. It's kind of like cascading the effects down from the parent to the child. And this is obviously not ideal, but the fix is pretty simple. On our player, I'm gonna right click and create empty again. And this time I'll call it Collector Collider. I'm going to put on the Collector component and I'm going to add a Circle Collider 2D. And then I'll make sure on the player object itself to remove that Circle Collider and to remove the Collector script. Right, so it's the same exact thing, except now it's broken down onto a different child object. And with this, the two children will not interact with each other, so it will not share functionality across them. It's only when a parent sends that functionality downwards into a child. So this is like a weird thing with colliders, but it's very important to know. And so now I can walk around and pull all of these coins into me, which is great. We have a working AOE pickup. So I hope this helped you out. Let me know down below if you have any issues. I'm happy to help you out or you can join our Discord. And the coolest thing is, is once you collect all of the coins on my screen, it tells you to subscribe. Thanks for watching.